First up tonight, we've learned a woman in her 30s has tested positive for coronavirus in Clinton County, marking the county's third case. She is in isolation at home, we're told. The health department says she was in direct contact with the second patient announced earlier this week. Meanwhile, Burlington is dealing with the largest known outbreak in the state of Vermont. The Pearl Street Nursing Home Burlington Health and Rehab has four cases outside of a woman's death reported yesterday. Local 22 Devin Bates has a recap from the mayor himself. And Devin, the mayor really said he's worried about more cases too. Yeah, Lauren, the coronavirus outbreak at Burlington Health and Rehab is expanding. One day after the death of a resident, more have tested positive. Now, Mayor Weinberger is urging state officials to ensure they're doing everything in their power to protect the facility's residents. As you noted, one of the deaths was indeed at that facility of the two deaths yesterday. And there are a total of five positive test results from that facility in the residents of the facility, including the individual who died. Burlington Health and Rehab is home to more than 80 elderly residents. Five in total tested positive for COVID-19, including a woman who died Thursday. Mayor Moreau Weinberger said a significant number of people connected to the facility have symptoms right now, and a scenario like this is the exact thing he hoped to avoid. But now Weinberger is calling on state leaders to ensure everything in their power is being done to address it, particularly when it comes to following CDC guidance. Facilities with confirmed cases should be isolating infected or suspected infected patients in separate, well-ventilated triage areas or private rooms with a closed door and a private bathroom if possible. Further, facilities should begin implementing engineering controls, including physical barriers and curtains between patients facility-wide. According to Weinberger, State Health Commissioner Dr. Mark Levine said people are working toward isolating infected and suspected infected patients at the facility. He reassured the mayor residents and healthcare workers who are symptomatic will be tested. Weinberger wants the city to be involved in calls with the families of residents going forward. I really want to be able to speak directly to all the impacted families. Um, want them to know um, that we are in, it, in this with them, the city is doing everything it can to uh, assure the safety of their loved ones. Mayor Weinberger also mentioned that in the weeks and months ahead, there may be points where Burlington has to take steps beyond what's being done at the state level. He said that shouldn't be interpreted as a sign of tension. And density uh, is, is something that in this crisis is a concern, and that's why you've seen such extreme measures being taken in New York City very quickly, and we may be, reach the place where we need to do things differently in Burlington than the rest of the state is. Now, Weinberger also said he reached out to Governor Scott about closing movie theaters, gyms, and other rec facilities, and though many have already closed due to the coronavirus, Scott is considering additional action in that area. Live in the newsroom tonight, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.